Ever wondered how to put a price tag on a company? It's a puzzle that even the most astute minds grapple with. Company valuation is like this intricate tapestry, woven with threads of financial performance, market conditions, and future prospects. Each thread carries its own weight, but it's the interplay of all these elements that forms the bigger picture. A company's financial health, its balance sheets, cash flow, and profit margins all contribute to its value. Then there's the market, the economic climate, competition, and industry trends. And let's not forget about a company's future potential, its growth opportunities, and the risks it faces. Enter Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger, two virtuosos of the investment world. They've spent decades studying, interpreting, and mastering this art of valuation, transforming it from a mere mathematical exercise into an insightful symphony of logic, intuition, and wisdom. So, how did Buffett and Munger crack the code of valuation? Let's dive deeper. The journey to valuation often starts at the financial statements. Now you might ask, why is that so important? Well, these documents are the lifeblood of a company's financial health. Let's break it down. First, we have the balance sheet. It's like a snapshot of a company's financial status at a given point in time. It tells you about the company's assets, liabilities, and the equity of its shareholders. It's a stark reflection of the company's financial stability. Next, the income statement. This tells us about the company's profitability. It reveals the revenues, costs, and expenses over a period of time. It's more of a movie than a snapshot, showing us the flow of money in and out of the company. Finally, the cash flow statement. It provides a detailed account of how a company generates and spends its cash. It's the reality check, disclosing whether or not a company can keep the lights on. But financial statements are only the beginning. Buffett and Munger dug deeper. Buffett and Munger didn't just look at numbers. They looked for stories. This statement embodies the essence of their valuation approach. They didn't merely examine financial statements or crunch numbers. Instead, they delved into the narrative of the company striving to comprehend its business model, its competitive advantage, and the quality of its management. Imagine you're reading a book. You wouldn't just skim through the pages, would you? You'd immerse yourself in the story. Try to understand the characters, their motivations, and their actions. The same applies to the Buffett-Munger approach. They view a company as a living, breathing entity with its unique tale to tell. In their eyes, a company's business model is like the plot of the story. It's the framework that defines how the company creates, delivers, and captures value. They seek companies with business models that are simple, understandable, and most importantly, sustainable. Next comes the competitive advantage, or in Buffett's own words, the economic moat. Just as a moat protects a castle from enemies, an economic moat safeguards a company from competitors. This could be anything from a strong brand name to a cost advantage or a network effect. The wider the moat, the more secure the company. But what's a story without its characters? In the case of a company, the management plays the lead role. Buffett and Munger value managers who are not only competent, but also possess integrity. They believe that management's decisions can significantly influence a company's long-term value. Speaking of long-term value, Buffett and Munger are not swayed by short-term gains. They are patient investors, focused on the company's potential to generate wealth over the long haul. They are not interested in quick wins or market trends. They are in it for the long term, investing in companies they believe will stand the test of time. In the end, it's all about finding value where others see none. This is the Buffett-Munger valuation approach in a nutshell. It's not just about numbers. It's about the story behind the numbers. It's about understanding the company, its competitive advantage, and its management. It's about long-term value. It's about finding hidden gems in a sea of rocks. So what's the secret source of Buffett and Munger's valuation method? Let's condense it down. Their method revolves around three pillars. Firstly, they focus on the intrinsic value of a company. They're not swayed by market trends or fads. Instead, they consider what a business is truly worth based on its assets, earnings, and growth potential. Secondly, they're all about the long game. They don't just look at where a company is now, but where it could be in 10, 20, or 30 years. It's not about quick wins, but sustainable success. Thirdly, they value quality management. They recognize that a company is only as good as the team steering the ship. 
They look for leaders who are not only competent, but have integrity and a vested interest in the company's success. This triad of intrinsic value, long-term prospects and quality management has led to their extraordinary returns over the years. Valuation is an art, not a science. And like all art forms, it requires patience, understanding and a dash of genius.